Let's put that picture up again, Joe. This is what we're talking about. This is a family that was out for a day of shopping at an outlet mall. All three of the people in that photograph are dead for the crime of walking around a mall. Their six-year-old son, as Maggie just pointed out, William, survived. So now he will grow up without his parents, without his sibling. Mm because they went to a mall on Saturday. Well, and, and Willie, this tragedy is repeated every day, repeated every day across America. Every day, whether we report it or not, because, you know, we don't have uh, the time in a four-hour show to report all the killings yeah. that take place in America. I mean, you look at the numbers, though. Greg Abbott, I mean, it, it's just absolutely disgusting that, that Greg Abbott puts up tweets saying that uh, Texas is only number two in, in, in the states that have purchased new guns. Uh, he said he's ashamed. They need to be number one. Uh, he he changes law after law after law uh, that makes it easier for people who, that are that are unqualified, untrained, emotionally unmoored, uh, and they get guns. He, untrained, and he says, "I'm embarrassed." This is back in 2015. Texas number two in the nation for new gun purchases behind California. Let's pick up the pace, Texans, and of course. He wants the NRA to know that he's being a good boy. Mm -hmm. He wants the NRA to know that, that, that he's, he's a faithful uh, servant, that he's going to care more about the gun lobby than children that get killed in his own state. And by the way, this is about guns. You know, the whole, mm -hmm. it's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill, oh, really? Well, let's just look at the last 10 years. As guns uh, have continued to skyrocket uh, in the past 10 years as gun laws have become stupider, more dangerous, uh, and, and more deadly. Look at firearm mortality in the state of Texas. It has skyrocketed. It keeps going up. The same thing has been happening in America since Sandy Hook. And these politicians, they know it. They know it. You look at the mass, sh well, there's the gun deaths since 2014. Again, this is not an accident. This is not like the tides coming in and going out and, and like it's nothing we can stop. This is an American crisis. It's not a British crisis. This doesn't happen in Britain. It's not a, a, a crisis in France. It's not a crisis in Australia. This is an American crisis and one of our own choosings. Rev, the numbers just keep skyrocketing. And they keep saying the same stupid thing after Texas churches are shot up, after Texas malls are shot up, after Texas schools are shot up, after little children are gunned down in Uvalde. Um, they're, I'm sorry, heartless. Soulless. They are heartless, soulless politicians who continue to let these kids die because they don't want to cross an NRA that is just not as powerful as it used to be. They don't want to cross an NRA. They don't want to stand up to the gun manufacturers. When you say it is not the guns, it's the people. People could not kill without the gun. Well, and they get people, by the way, in Great Britain. I don't know. We just we could ask Caddy this question, but they got people Absolutely. in Great Britain. But they don't have more guns. But they don't than have people the guns in, in Great Britain. We have more. They, guns by the way, they also here. don't have laws that allow people to walk in and get a gun and carry it around without any training or without a permit. I always talk about you got guns. Absolutely. I got guns. Guess what else I had? Got training. I got a permit went through the process, practice at the range. They have idiots now. And you talk to gun owner, I mean, gun shop owners, and they will go like, they'll tell me, this guy just walked in. He's an idiot. I had to sell him the gun. Uh, I, you know, pass this cursory check. And uh, it's, again, Greg Abbott and Texas legislators are killing little children every day because they won't do what is required to keep them safe in schools, to keep them safe in churches, to keep them safe in synagogues, to keep them safe at country music concerts. No, it, it is an unbelievable crisis that we have self-inflicted so that others could make uh, crazy money selling us guns and just keep doing it. And no one's standing up 
There must be a movement across all lines to stop this. That's the only way it's going Has to be. And Eddie, Governor Abbott immediately tries to short circuit any gun conversation by saying this shooting happens or another one in his state. We've got to do something about mental health in this country. And we all agree we do. But the other element of this is guns, which clearly he doesn't want to factor into this. After the shooting in Nashville at the Covenant School, you had members of the delegation, Republicans in Tennessee and Congress saying, there's nothing we can do about this. We're not going to do anything up here. Sorry, it's the price of freedom. I don't think, I think, don't think Joe thinks, I don't think anyone here thinks that most of the country agrees with that. Right. No one wants the price of freedom to be that three-year-old kid at a mall or a nine-year-old kid at a Christian school in Nashville. Yeah, the sad irony is that the country refuses to protect our babies and then expects those same children to grow up to save the country. Isn't that, Yeah. And you know, it's just terrible on a certain level. It's a corruption of the soul. It's a corruption of the soul. We talk about fighting for the soul of America, right? This reality, it reflects a kind of corruption of the soul for me. And it seems to me, and I'm just going to echo something that Rev said, we can talk about the NRA, we could talk about, you know, the gun manufacturers, we could talk about Republicans. We have to fight for a world where this is not happening, right? Because I have a sneaking suspicion, Joe, that that, that data that we just showed, that mass murders are actually correlated with the availability of the AR-15. Right. Of assault weapons. And so it seems to me that there could be a general agreement among all Americans that that weapon should not be in the hands of Americans, that it shouldn't be on our streets. And so if we can't make that decision, it's not just simply about Republicans and the NRA and, and the gun law. It's about us. If we can't fight to get those weapons off our streets so we can protect our babies. I mean, you, you, you talk to most sheriffs, especially uh, cops in big cities. You talk to most people in the military. They don't, they don't want Americans, especially without training, to be running around with AR-15s. Those are weapons that were designed for war. In case somebody's tuning in for the first time specifically, you know, read a 1981 Atlantic article by James Fallows. It was designed to be lighter, mm -hmm. smaller caliber, easier to run through the jungles of Vietnam, easier to kill more Vietnamese than the heavy weapons that, uh, that, that were being used at the time. Uh, but you, you look, though, at the numbers here, Jonathan, and I, I do believe there's going to be a change in America. I do believe it's coming just like it has on abortion uh, in a way that people have just had, it, had enough. I mean, and you look at that, what we're showing you right there, and wow. the AR-15 used in the deadliest mass shootings. You know why? Because the AR-15 is not designed for hunting. The AR-15 is not designed to protect our house. The AR-15 is designed to kill people, and specifically to kill lots of people in warfare. And this is what happens in America. And this is a choice that Greg Abbott and our politicians make every day. So 